right so today is a special day should i call it that to make this um chinese fried rice it's a seafood chinese fried rice if i can call it that so um today is just the perfect day because all the ingredients just happen to be available at the same time there is vegetables there's leftover rice there is um seafood there's shrimps there's prawns everything everything i mean every single thing i need to make this same um, delicacy is it delicacy or dish is complete so that's why i said it's a special day you hardly find a day like this i mean sometimes you have the shrimps but you don't have the vegetables sometimes you have the vegetables you don't have the leftover rice or either one is not just there so that's why today is a very special day everything was complete so i decided to you know what let me make this special meal for my family today so i'm going to chop off all the vegetables and keep them aside and then clean the shrimps i'm just deveining the shrimps this is very very important because the veins or should i call it intestine it holds in a lot of dirt and sometimes or most times sand also and you don't want to be chewing on sand when you are enjoying a very very you know thoughtful meal so you need to devein your shrimps and take out all the dirt as so like i am doing So this is the biggest of the prawns. I'm going to take out all the um, shell, is it the shell or the body, I don't even know what to call it. The body, I'm going to take it out and clean everything up, the vein, wash properly and add it to the rest of the shrimps. Once all my protein is clean, I'm going to pour it on a hot oil. But first of all, I need onion oil for that flavor. I'm going to fry some onions and the bottom of the spring onions, the white part. That's where that's where all the magic, you know, happens. So I'm going to fry this for like some less than a minute, like 40 seconds on high heat and then i'm going to add my shrimps my prawns and everything and make sure you don't cook your protein for long or else you have a rubbery like it, it, it turns rubber basically it doesn't you know have that texture it's supposed to have so don't cook your protein for long so i'm going to keep this on the fire for about three to four minutes but i'm going to leave the bigger one for longer time that will be for like five to six minutes just because of its size so that's the only one i'm going to leave i'm adding salt and some pepper now and that's just it for shrimps i don't want to do too much i also added um some lemon juice fresh lemon juice i squeezed it inside so it um, elevates the flavor of my seafood right now my shrimps are done i'm going to take them off the fire and leave the bigger one inside so it cooks longer
so the next thing i'm going to do is fry some eggs because i'm adding eggs to my chinese fried rice and i'm going to use four eggs i'm just going to fry them nothing serious add some salt and take them off the pan that's because you, you don't want to pour this directly into your rice it's going to be kind of messy and it's going to stick to the rice stick to the vegetables you want them to stay on their own as fried egg fried egg and not <laughs> joint egg with the rice so i'm frying it separately from every other ingredient So I blended some pepper, garlic and ginger that I'm going to add to my um, rice. I'm using fresh pepper because I like the taste better than dry pepper and it gives like a fresh taste and you know, tastes better in Chinese food. So I'm adding carrots, cabbage all my vegetables to the frying pan and I'm going to fry them on high heat remember to fry your vegetables on high heat because if you do so on low heat it's going to get cooked and to get soggy and you don't want that so fry on high heat and keep adding all your vegetables my onions and everything was underneath because onion oil very important so I'm adding my pepper and my garlic and ginger into this mix i'm just going to keep mixing this i don't want it to get done please ignore the chicken in my background <laughs> so i don't want it to get done i just want it to cook a little before i pour in my leftover rice so this is the leftover rice from yesterday and i'm going to add this to the vegetables to cook it won't cook for long because obviously it's done yeah it's not like i'm cooking from scratch so it's just going to heat up that's why you have to make this on high heat if you do this on low heat you're going to end up having soggy food so you do not want that make sure you put this on high heat at all time let the fire be the highest and um, once i mix this up i'm going to add my protein that's my eggs my shrimps my prawn everything i'm going to add this and mix this all up together you know how i said it is a special day and everything seems to be complete i do not have like my chinese sauce i don't have soy sauce oyster sauce hmm. the story behind that is like a sad one somebody poured the remaining of my soy sauce away so i did not have anything to use and i was just oh, and I, the rice was left looking white but i'll show you guys how i was able to balance the color of the rice later on in the video so i added some cooking cubes to the rice for some taste because i didn't add to the vegetables so i added it right now and everything here is looking nice already you can have vegetable rice like this without the um, protein but obviously i have protein i'm going to add it so i added it now i'm just going to mix everything all up make sure it is married together and everything is looking uh, nice and good <laughs> so that's it about my chinese fried rice So the reason why I added the spring onions last is because I still want it to be a bit crunchy and the flavor it releases is always very fresh and I wanted the flavor on like to be very fresh on the rice so I added it lastly and it's not always that nice when it's been long on the fire and it's kind of soggy so that's why I added it last. So I added, um, or oh, I'm going to add some curry for some coloring to the rice and that's how I got this vibrant yellow color. This is the end of my 
you know chinese fried rice it's quite easy to make prep your vegetables prep your protein if you don't have seafood you can use just eggs and you can use beef